Alright, welcome back for another Boxing Glove review. Today we're going to look at uh, the brand called New Sporting and what I think about it and how it feels. How did I, I, I have to admit I didn't even know this brand existed. I watched uh, C Squared and Fit to Box and uh, it was quite uh, entertaining to see the drama unfold on how um, uh, C Squared initially didn't like the brand because it didn't have too much uh, positive uh, interaction with that company. And and as as time as the years uh, came by, uh, we're slowly finding out it's maybe a language barrier or the person in charge of interaction uh, was not too uh, skilled at uh, public relations skills and or speaking in another language outside their mother tongue. So all good few years later, um, the person called um, Edgar from the, the Boxing Collector has uh, e uh, emerged and he's talking to a lot of um, the producers in Mexico and he's uh, fine-tuned the original product of uh, new sporting to what it is today. I have uh, I'll, I'll go through the individual parts and then I'll give my take on what I think uh, of all the car all the parts combined uh, the sum end result. Okay, so as you can see, I did buy this obnoxious looking color because I said why not? If I'm going to uh, spend a bit of dodge on it, I might as well be obnoxious about it. So there you go. And these colors came out even better in life. So the website did not portray the combination of this shiny metallic blue with the orange. I thought it's been gaudy. I thought it would be gaudy and it'd be like meh. But it actually has grown on me. Maybe just exposure. But this metallic blue is really nice. And and the tinge of orange, for some reason, it, it kind of has grown on to me uh, and it's I like these gloves I like the color combination and the white kind of breaks it apart so it's nice so let's look at the so let's talk about the leather first okay this is good leather I've been I've deliberately extended the time now I've used it for eight weeks and if you can look at the leather after eight, eight weeks of use on the heavy bag the physical aspect looks good but I have to admit, this part, the coloring is kind of worn off. I can't tell whether it's the color of the black bag, but I think it's actually the, the, the orange uh, actually is coming off with the use. So I would say after a bit of time using, so I use it about three to five times a week, depending on how, how busy I am. So even this bit's kind of wearing off. So the orange is wearing off, but the structure, immaculate the leather is holding its own only the coloring is coming off so wherever you have impact here and here 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 the coloring is wearing off this I find myself like because I sweat a lot and I and I do this so this bit the metallic blue is coming off but I but I'm glad to see because Unless there's wear and tear, you don't know whether anything's happening or this is like a super product. So after eight weeks, that's wearing off all the, the acidic sweat from me is, is taking off the paint, uh, the metallic uh, blue. So stitching, okay, looking at it, nothing. Well, because I don't punch, I don't, I don't punch like that. So I do not expect the stitching inside it to have any fraying or any. structural damage in the stitching or it coming up looking at this external again i don't i don't hit per people like this so i don't expect any of this to be frayed okay and i'm looking at the yeah see it's just it's just normal wear and tear so stitching is on point it's really good quality stitching piping okay you can see the piping, everything's intact, all good. So I have to say, I don't spar with these, I just hit the heavy bag. So that's what your piping looks like. 
Velcro, okay, that's the Velcro, so that's not part of the glove. Inner lining, okay. Uh, before I forget, this is really short, so I don't know if I didn't use this, whether there'll be enough to go around. This is the string, the only thing I can suggest, maybe they have a longer string for those of you convention, how, how you tie this conventionally with your coach. So if you can look on the inside of this, hopefully you can get the light. So this is literally padding material. So you can see the bumps there. So there's no like satin welcome to slide your hand in, hands in, but because of the, the density of the foam inside, it is comfortable to put your hand in and you do not feel any rubbing or, or a skin rubbing off any part inside. So that's what it looks like inside, yeah? So when I use this to wrench it in, perfect. Uh, wrist support, so go on to that. Because I use this system and because I personally uh, appreciate gloves that give me a bit more wrist support, when I winch this to this, and I do that, I am good, I'm confident. So even when I a bit do that a bit, I'm not scared because I'm confident this with this combined with the thickness and the dense, denser padding on the insides help a lot. So I personally now know I will like gloves with this padding. So it's like a almost like a conical padding. It extends here so it's bump here and bump inside bump here so the extra volume taken taken up squishes my my wrist together giving me the impression or, or maybe the psychological um, uh, safety net to say okay i'm good so that's so but go back see that's hardly able you you can't ha hardly do that so the only way you could ever do anything was just that yeah so it depends where you put this, that's about it. So far, the eight weeks, it's been good. And I do like gloves, so I personally will look for gloves with this kind of padding to secure my smaller wrists. I have to say, those with bigger wrists or more uh, uh, enhanced forearms, this part of the glove, you probably won't look for or make feel any difference. I may even go as far as to say, maybe some of you might find it of a hindrance if you have too big a forearm uh, for that for that aspect of these kind of uh, padding on the inside for wrists. Okay, thumb. My thumb is there. So I still have yet to, to find a glove where I punch and then this goes through and then I start feeling pain. So for me personally, no thumb problem. So that's nice density all the way around. Yeah, see, even if I hit someone's elbow, that's quite a bit of padding to protect myself. So even if I have a miscue, miss, that's, that seems like it should protect more than other gloves. So that is nice density all around it. Yep. Wrist position, yep, good. So that's the wrist position. That's the, the, the badge, the branding. Look, look, at, look at the shiny gold, it's still holding up, yeah? Fingers, okay. So I, I easily slide my fingers in. That's my palm there. So that's the, the hole. My slip, my slingers. My fingers are, are right there. So that's my fingers. And there's no sagging this part. It's like, it feels kind of tight, but it's not as secure as the clitoris where that was like a compartment in itself and it felt very good. So you can feel, you can see a little bit, the fingers you can see move and the clitoris, there's none of that happening. Okay. Wait. Oh yeah, I measured, uh, I measured. I weighed both of the gloves. The right one weighed 15.8 ounces, about, and the left one 15.6. So they're very close together, but they're over an ounce over advertised because these are supposed to be 14 ounce. I do like the padding of this, so it feels, from what I understand, I think this has softer padding on the inside to to look after your 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 your, knuck, your knuckles and in and then maybe in the middle there's a bit denser and then outside it's a bit softer again. So I'm thinking this is three layered, 
soft inside, middle holds it together, outside, soft. So my knuckles, okay, where are my knuckles? My knuckles are there. So knuckles are there. So if you look at this, the knuckles are here and there's so much padding in front of the knuckles. So for you to get to your knuckles, you have to angle your wrist to a certain point to get where you want. So there's a lot of padding before you actually get to the knuckles. So if that's it, so if you want to get to that, you've got to hit hard enough for that to, to press down. So it is a, a density which I like. So I don't know if you can see. Yeah, no. you got to take my word for it. Yeah, that padding is dense enough to, to protect your hands, but soft enough to to feel, to, to hear the pop. Okay. Right. So, do I like these gloves? I love these gloves personally. It gives me what I need. It makes me feel secure on my wrists. So I feel like my wrists are supported. That, that's, for, that's for me personally, that's one of the major things I look for. Uh, also the padding for the knuckles. Oh, that's right, before I forget. Uh, if I if I use this just with wraps, I found out that with with if I didn't control how how hard I hit the heavy bags, this started to hurt a little bit, but still protective. But once I started using the Fortress Fortress T1 wraps, I put that and I put that in, game changer. Yeah, so that's the real deal. T1 uh, Fortress wraps protect your knuckles like no, nothing. Well, not not like nothing. They, they do what they advertise for. So this with the reps, fantastic. So eight weeks of it, uh, you can feel the, the knuckles slightly getting, not bruised or maybe to the, the, the slightest soreness, but that's what you do when you get, when you, when you box yeah? your, your knuckles start to, to, to pay the price. But I'm saying it in the, in the form of that's the maximum. So the, I hope I'm using the correct English word. Maybe slight soreness, that's it. Okay. Yeah, that's it. So, these gloves, uh, I did pay quite a lot of it, a lot for it because uh, of the exchange rate and then there were extra uh, charges for the tax to be exported out of the country and then I had to pay on my side. I'm in Australia, I, my bank charged me another 40 bucks or 30 bucks because I converted from American dollars to our currency. So it, it, it came up to be more than I thought, but that's the way the cookie crumbles, yeah? So are these gloves legit? Are these nice, well-crafted uh, well gloves? Yes. Padding protects your knuckles, uh, protects your wrists, good quality uh, structure, the stitching is in on point, the, uh, the leather is good, I like the colors that they use, they, they are staying for now. I will, I will keep using this and keep use, uh, putting videos uh, to, to see how they wear and tear. I've got my one of my initial set of gloves. It was white and is now becoming like kind of white brownish. <laughs> so I'm very curious to keep uh, all the records on YouTube and see how we go. So who would buy this? Uh, anybody who likes good quality gloves. Anybody who wants to buy a newish design Mexican gloves. I'll, I'll go, in, uh, go into what I think Mexican gloves are in, an, in another video. So for now, if this is made, <coughs> excuse me, if this is made in Mexico, which these are, I will call them Mexican gloves. So if you want to buy good quality Mexican gloves, good leather, Good padding, good wrist support. These are your gloves. They do they do come at a higher price, but I'm I'm guessing some of you out there are willing to pay for it because they could be worse things to spend your money on. Take home take home message. Get some, try some. Let me know what you think about them. Till next time.